What's going down YouTube guys today as you can see I'm gonna teach y'all how to change your oil You know what I'm saying this is for the people that you know not trying to take their cars to the oil place or whatever You know what I'm saying you want to do it yourself Girls, I don't know if y'all want to do it yourself. It's easy. You know what I'm saying? It's mad easy. I think it's mad easy So I'm about to show y'all how to do it because yeah, it's mad easy and yeah, you can do it You, you got to pay like if you got the tools already, you just got to pay for, for just the oil and the filter, which is like $30, and boom, you can change your whole oil. You don't got to take it no work. But let's get right into the video. Don't forget to hit that like button. If you guys are new, subscribe. Let me know what you guys think. Let's get to it. To change your oil, there's going to be a couple things you need. You're going to need a tool. My car is pretty low, so I can't even get under it. So that's the first thing you're going to need. Second, you're going to need a, a brick or maybe you know, like any piece of wood so you can put it on the back of your tires. All right? So the car won't roll down when you have that. I mean, third, you're gonna need the oil filter, which is this. You can get it from AutoZone or Auto Parts. You know, I got this from AutoZone, so I can get all my stuff from AutoZone. They match it up for you, just the specific for your car. So if you guys go to them, you just gotta go to one of the people and they'll tell you exactly what you need for your car. And then you're gonna need your oil, which is this right here. You know, this is the specific to my car. It's not for everybody, but it's specific to my car. So I got that one right there. And then you guys are gonna need some wrench. So mine is a 20 millimeter uh, bolt. So that's all I need. I don't need really know all of that, but it might be different for yours, but just know you're gonna need this right here. So that's pretty much it. You're just gonna need that, 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 that. Your hands, you might wanna get a glove because it gets pretty messy. So yeah, so let's get right to it. All right, yeah, so first thing, you gotta put, the, you gotta put it right here. <sighs> Make sure your car, the e-brake, is on which is it what it is when I go down here you can't really tell but there's a metal plate right here all that going down that's like your frame so I'm gonna just put it right there this is metal as you can see I mean it's gonna touch your feet I can't down. even get under my car y'all I can't even get under my car because my car is mad low so It's metal right there. You see how it's hitting that right there? That's metal. So, I always put it on a metal surface. You don't want to put it like hitting nothing like something else like this or it's because it's going to push it up there. It's going to move it around and it's just not meant to be put on right there. It's meant to put on right here. So, don't never forget that. Real easy, real simple. Next thing you're going to do, you're going to pop your hood. So, go ahead, find a button. Some people they never pop their hood. So, look. Right here, there's gonna be a, a button. Oh, y'all might have to pull it, a button. I don't know how it is for you, but it's gonna have a symbol of a hood. It might look like a trunk, but that's the trunk. That's the hood. All right, so you're gonna pop the hood. So look, what you do, when you pop, you're like, oh no, how you do it? Is it, is it, how, how come it didn't go up? Yeah, cause you're supposed to pull it up, lug underneath. There's gonna be a slack. So you see that slack right here? This right here? This right here, you're supposed to pull it up. Look at this. You see that? It unlocks. You see that? Boom. And then you just pull the thing up. So look. You pull this up. While you pull it up, you just pull the hood up. And then boom. And what does it say? Make sure you guys take out the right one. Like, I'm telling y'all. Don't be messing up. And pull out other stuff. Don't touch this. Don't touch that. Don't touch that. Don't touch... No, no, nothing. You go where the engine's at. You go right here, you look for a button that says engine oil. Look at that, yeah. Oil. Engine oil for 5W20. 5W20. So, see? Exactly. I cap this. So, when you guys take, I cap this. And, um, see? Your car. So, just pull this up right here. It's just stick. It's just oil right there. Just have it up right there. Alright, y'all. So, there's actually more things you're gonna need. You're gonna need this funnel right here. This right here. This is a funnel. You need that. Just something that you can spill in so you can make it into that engine hole that I showed you. Oh, so you're gonna put the funnel in there, pour it in there, all right? So get that. And you're gonna need an oil pan. This right here. So this is an oil pan. Or an oil catcher, whatever you wanna call it. You know, something that can catch the oil and that, you know, you won't make a mess everywhere. Because this is how my oil pan, this is how it works. Put the oil right so as you can see right there, it's the oil pan. 
There's the oil pan right here, here to here. All right, here, let me get it from an angle where y'all can see. Careful, make sure you put the oil pan where it's gonna like squirt out because this is gonna squirt out. Let's let y'all see right there. Now that Y'all can see the oil already coming out a little bit, so. Come on, pop it out, Let's like, just like that. You saw that? You saw I took it out quick, just like that? That's exactly how you guys have to take it out. Just like that. After you let that joint drain, you're just gonna put that boat right back on, and then you're gonna take out the, the, the oil filter, so I'm about to show you how to do oh, yeah. that. So you see that right there? It's right next to the oil pan. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna take that out. You might need to use a tool, but I'm gonna use my hands. I'm gonna just take it out with my hands. And yeah, so let's do that. And put the oil pan right here because it's gonna spill oil. So yeah. Real easy, real simple. So you're just gonna twist it to the left. Have the oil right there because look at that. It's already spilling oil. Look at that, check that out. So I'm gonna just take it all out because it's gonna make a mess. Let it drop right there. See, look at that. The oil pan was right there. So it was right there to catch it. It ain't make no mess. And your pop job with it. Look at that. Shit like that. Let that shit go out for like five minutes and then come back. Right there. Easy. Lemon squeezy. Put some oil right here. You know what I'm saying? Because when you take it out for the next time, you saw how I was able to use my, my, my hands and stuff. Yeah, that's because it was, it was, it wasn't that tight because I did this. You feel me? You put a little oil on the, just enough to make it slippery. So then next time, you know what I'm saying? Cause oil don't dry out. Oil don't dry out. Whatever. And then tighten that joint back up. There. You don't gotta tighten it too hard, y'all, because remember the um, it's gonna be sucking in anyways. To use the filter so you don't really have to tighten it too much so it's just hand hand tighten it and this you'll be fine right there it'll be good for me and then boom you're done with under the car so as you can see the oil pan caught all the oil we're gonna set this aside right here And then now you look at your oil. See, look at that. It's right there. Y'all can see that shit. You see how it has like a clear line? Y'all look at that. I'm gonna make it go all the way to right here just cause I got a big engine. Shit, I think I put a little bit too much. But like I said, I got a big engine, so it don't even matter. I do put the whole thing a little bit more. Clean it. Put it back in, and then take it back out. This time you're gonna watch where it, where the where the things at, where the oil comes up to. So, as you can see, the oil is in the middle of the two dots. Y'all see that, right? It stops right in the middle. So really, boom. You see how easy that was? Let me show them again. Yeah, yeah. Y'all watch this. Look at this. Boom. No, no mess. mess. I'm making a mess. So for me, I put this back in here. Let it drain out. Cause I'm gonna pour this right here. Every oil, the oil that's not oil that's in here, I'm gonna pour it in there, and I'm gonna take this to AutoZone and then dump out the all the oil. Cause you can't put this oil, you know, the trash cans, people they won't take that shit. They take if they see that, they're gonna find you. all these bad napkins you use. You're gonna use them. I'm gonna put this right there. You're gonna put this right there. You're gonna put this. The shit ain't cheap. You're gonna put that joint in there. Look at that. This joint on right here, real simple. So that's the end on how to change it. Don't forget to smash that like button if you guys are new. Subscribe. Let me know what you guys think about the video. Let me know if it was helpful or not. I'm gonna start it up. Let your car run for like 15, 20 minutes. Don't ride it because you gotta let the oil go all the way through inside. 
Y'all know how we do, we all business.